Hello, my name is Jane. Today we are going to look at the theme of micro in art. What do you think the word micro means? By micro we could mean looking at something small or far away, really close up. Let's begin by looking at this painting, Untitled Number 7, by the artist Agnes Martin. This can be seen at the Hugh Lane Gallery. Agnes Martin was really inspired by nature and she wanted the people who look at her art to have the same feelings that they do when they are in nature. She wanted to capture joy, beauty, innocence, happiness itself. Later in her life, she lived in the desert. Do you think that anything about this painting feels like a desert? Maybe morning skies, mirages or sand? Think about the light and lines that we might find in a landscape closer to home. Can you think of some words to describe this painting? Look at the gentle colours used. How do they make you feel? Can you see the horizontal lines in the painting? And can you think of anywhere in nature you might see a horizontal line? Let's look at these lines a little closer. Vertical lines go from top to bottom and horizontal lines go from side to side. The word horizontal comes from the horizon, where the sky meets the earth. Can you imagine the world from really far away, where all of the details become really tiny? Today we are going to make a tiny landscape, as if we are viewing the world from very far away. Okay, so let's gather some materials. You will need a sheet of plastic or a baking tray, some paints, some paper or some card, some shaving foam, a palette knife or a spoon will work, and a fork. Begin by spraying the shaving foam onto your tray and then smoothing it out to roughly the size of your paper or card with the back of a spoon or a palette knife. For my landscape I wanted nice soft colours that reminded me of Agnes Martin's paintings. So I added white paint to my colours to get these nice pastel tones. I'd recommend you mix up your colours before you start so you know exactly what you're going to get. To begin marbling I added some paint to the shaving foam using my palette knife. This is where your spoon will come in useful too. Using a fork I spread out the paint. You could try creating horizontal lines with the paint, just like Agnes Martin. Next, I took my card and I pressed it quite firmly into the shaving foam. You want to make sure you mash it down really firm so the shaving foam covers all of the paper. Once you've done this, lift it up and using another sheet of cardboard just scrape away all of the extra shaving foam and you're left with your marble print. You can repeat this process as many times as you want adding new colours as you go. You can make lots of these micro landscapes and if you find that your colours get a little bit too mixed you can always add a little bit more white shaving foam. I think that these marbled landscapes really feel like they belong in Ireland with their wild swirling patterns. What do you think? While you wait for your landscapes to dry you could tidy up all of your supplies. Then when they're dry you could make a display on your wall. I decided to keep things going horizontally so they really reminded me of a landscape. I really hope you enjoyed this workshop today and we can't wait to see your creations.